All right, one of the things that other videos will not tell you about is if you buy a radio on eBay, a command radio, the filaments for the tubes could be wired all in parallel. Now, the radios originally used 24 volt to 28 volt DC to light the filaments. You could also use 24 volts AC to light the filaments, okay? But the transformers, surplus transformers back in the day, had a 5 volt winding to light the rectifier tube and a 6.3 volt or 12.6 volt winding to light the filaments. So these guys would, instead of using a second transformer to light the filaments and use a separate transformer to get to high voltage with the capacitors in your uh, rectifiers, they chose to rewire the radio. Now, if you get a radio and you can't tell it's been rewired, it's very hard to tell. I'm going to tell you right now, even for me, I ring it out. Now, the trick is you put your own meter first on ground. You got your meter on R times 1. This is the filament pin up here on the top. That goes to the filaments. Right now, we have no reading on the meter. Okay? Now, we take... I, in this case, I use a 12SK7. I know the, the um, filament is on 2 and 7 on this tube. Alright? I put it in, nothing happens. If you put it in, you get a reading with just one tube in the set. You go from open to a reading. Your whole, all your filaments are wired in parallel. You're basically screwed unless you're really good with electronics and have buku amount of patience. Now, in my case, I've gone that route. This was all wired in parallel. Now there's three series strings wired in parallel. I put this tube in. I have a reading now. Okay? If I take either tube out, the reading goes away. That's a series string. But it's only a series string for these two tubes. But I also have a series... Alright, the reading's gone. I move these same tubes over here to this socket over here. These two are together. I put it in. And I got a reading. So, string number one, string number two, both of them are in parallel. They both go to the same source for their voltage. All right, now this, this is a little different. It's this, this socket here and this socket here. And I got a reading. Now, what has happened? What are we dealing with? What's the dealio, as I used to say? There are three surplus radio conversion manuals. A one and a two and a three. And I believe in the number one, it tells you how to make uh, an AM tuner, a wide, high fidelity AM tuner out of one of these uh, BC946 uh, command radios. Surplus manual number three, surplus radio conversion manual number three, tells you how to, how to wire it up to make it a car radio using a, uh, once you got all the, the, um, the filaments wired in parallel, the 12 volts of the car heats the filaments up, and then you use a, a vibrator transformer unit, which makes the high voltage, okay? Now you have a car radio, and that's the experiment. Now, the problem with this, this particular radio, besides that, after you get the filaments all set up, uh, they tell you to gut a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's no big problem. What I want to tell you what I'm up against now is when I went to run, I got the, the panels done, the front panels done today. Uh, when I went to run the gain control, it goes to this capacitor here. And uh, it, this is um, C6B, the middle prong on this. is There's nothing there. And then this, this resistor here, which is R1, it's been changed. So I go back to the conversion manual, and it tells them to wire this to ground. And it is. It's wired to ground and changed the value. So, so many things are happening at the same time. I have to go through this radio step by step, section by section, undoing what they did just to have a, um, a high fidelity AM broadcast uh, radio. Okay? And this is some of the stuff you can run into. Now, like I said, uh, other videos on, on YouTube uh, 
they tell you about opening these capacitors up. I showed you how to do that. You grind the top off, just very along the edge, along the top. Uh, the ring comes off, you take the, the mica out, you, you heat it with a heat gun, you rebuild it, you put the mica back in with some epoxy or some contact cement. I told you about that. You can make this radio look exactly like it did the day it was made. Now, in my case with this one, this is becoming more of a resurrection than a restoration, okay, because they really bodged up. Now, I'm doing this video over again because uh, when you count your numbers on your, your uh, sockets on the bottom, you count clockwise from the bottom, counterclockwise from the top. There's a gap. Uh, on some sockets, if you look very closely, you will see the numbers, okay? I'm too old to see the numbers, even if I, if I think they're there right now and I go look for them. I think I saw the, the name of the manufacturer before I saw the actual numbers. I don't see any numbers. No. Okay, so there's a, there's a pin. There's a, a notch on the pin on the, the socket. A little uh, pin that sticks out. And you count, you count clockwise. And there's eight pins. Your filaments are two and seven. Okay? I can do this stuff uh, because I worked with tubes in RCA. Uh, I, you know, I just know by looking down at the socket where pin two is, where pin one is. And all the metal tubes, pin one goes to ground. And that's the indicator that you're in the right place. Uh, most of the metal tubes, uh, pin one will ring out to ground. And that's because the, um, the case of this tube, it's a metal tube with a glass tube inside. If you take one apart, you'll see it, there is a glass tube inside, an envelope, or let's just say a bottom seal, sealed into the, into the metal. These very rarely go bad because they're so well made. Now this one here, this one here says 6SK7, okay, instead of a 12. So I got to watch out because uh, the the project to you wire all the you wire all the sockets in parallel, and then you run this with with six volt tubes, okay. And that could be expensive because they're two dollars each, and you got to change six of them. Very bad article, bad. Uh, all, all you had to do was change the transformer or use another transformer. The whole problem would have went away. But first they have you gut the radio, throw away the transformer that you could actually use, uh, get rid of the BFO. Uh, it, it, it's just, it was very, uh, the project was not thought out. The person was out looking to sell these three manuals, surplus radio conversion manual. Do not pay for them. They're free on the internet as PDFs. Okay, there's three. Uh, versions of the third. Uh, there's a blue, there's a brown, and maybe a green. Okay? Look around. Do the work. Uh, there are people that gladly sell you the CD um, on different websites. And uh, all that information is for free on the internet. Okay? But I wanted to cover uh, what you could run into and, you know, how to check it. Like I said, uh, if it's done correctly, uh, you're going to have to put two tubes in to get a continuity in each set. Two in here, two in here, these two. And now I'm noticing uh, the, the guy did change the tubes to 6 SK7. So I got some 12s and some 6s here. So I gotta, I gotta pull a set out for myself. Or I might have just changed one tube. Very bad to do that. But uh, I have I have so many uh, spare parts now because I bought, um, what I bought? Three radios? Just to build one? Yeah. This is this has been tough, but every day I do another step. Now today, is just make the front panel, okay? And then think about the next step. The next step is uh, putting the gain control in and putting in the resistors in here that belong here and getting this set up, and then I'll go from there. And I'll, I'll read the, uh, the surplus radio conversion manual over again to see what more uh, tricks they threw my way, okay? I think that's it. I think I covered it. You know, this is more than, I, I, like I said, I sort of laugh at some of the other videos because the people are holding up units that are like original. Okay. And some guys are just showing you it works. They don't explain anything to you. Other people give you the history of the radio. Uh, I'm trying to educate you on what can go wrong. So if you really want to put the time into it, 
you know, like uh, this is a shielded wire up to the front with, I guess, the audio. So he could take it out, out to the front. And on, he had uh, controls on the front for this thing. I, I don't know what, what I'm dealing with yet. But like I said, take it step by step by step. But my goal is to show you uh, what's in the radio, what to look for, what to expect. And this might help you stay with it and get it working. Okay. And it'll probably help maybe two people. Okay. Most people give up. I don't give up. I told you that. I have that transmitter I'm working on. I ordered some parts for it. I like to finish every project I touch. Uh, because if you quit, if you keep quitting projects and putting them away, uh, that causes a problem. Okay. I stay with stuff like that transmitter I was doing two weeks ago, a week ago. Uh, I rebuilt everything I could. I'm missing a part. Now, I got a chassis that I can take that part off of, or I can move the better parts from my other chassis to the, to the new chassis. I have more options now, but uh, it still needs a power supply, okay? That's how that's going to run. Um, you know, you don't, you don't see anybody giving you the full, uh, let's see, revealing you what's, what's going to go wrong when you touch one of these things. You know, it's all peaches and cream for some of these guys. You know, they're holding in their hand a pristine unit. And all they have to do is, you know, hook a dynamo motor to it. They just happen to have a, a lab supply that they can spin the dynamo motor with. And they show you the radio working. Okay. I'm showing you what you're going to go through if you actually want to rebuild one. Or you get one, you don't realize it's been rewired on you. And uh, you go putting a dynamo motor on it. And, and as soon as you power it up with 28 volts, all the tubes let loose. Especially if the guy has changed the tubes to 6 volters. Okay. And you don't have his original supply. You're going to be screwed. You're going to be like, what the hell just happened? You know, and you might, you might just give up. But warning you ahead of time, showing you what I'm going through. I think that's it. All right, that's it.